Hey everybody, you're watching the Dude's Kitchen and Grill and I'm your man Mike Wolford and today we're making chicken wings with a pineapple mango glaze. I think you're gonna dig it. But before we do that, we have some business to take care of and that is another sticker on the Fridge of Fame. This is my buddy Rick over at Rick's Barbecue and Specialties. Rick sent me a sticker, so up he goes. All right, my buddy Rick. We're gonna put him right here. Looking good, he's right below Scott. And my buddy Rob and his dog Duke over at Barbecue Pit Dog. Rick, thank you for the sticker, appreciate it buddy. To do these wings, we're gonna use the indirect method again on the Weber kettle. You guys know what that's all about? So let's get this thing started. You know how it is, this time we're gonna use both sides of the grill. You know this stuff with some charcoal. I'm gonna go a little extra this time. And that's just because we do got both sides. We take our tumbleweed and light it. I do love the tumbleweed thing. Look at that. Put it down below. Let it do its thing for about 20-25 minutes and then we'll start to cook. But in the meantime, let's make the braise for our chicken wings. This recipe calls for three tablespoons of honey. I already put it in there. It does call for three quarters of a cup of soy sauce, what I'm going to put in there. Three quarters of a cup of pineapple juice. And as an additional note, I'm going to add this. It's Celia's mango because you know pineapple and mango go together quite well so I'm just going to put in a couple tablespoons in just like that and we're going to put it onto the Cuisinart and kind of cook this thing down so it makes a really good braise. We're going to put our braise down here on the Cuisinart 360. The reason why is we want to cook this down so it does become a braise right so we have everything in there like our honey and our pineapple so it just needs to come down. We're going to do it really slowly because our chicken wings are going to take a little while to cook as well. But when it gets done, man, I swear it's going to be awesome. We have chicken wings here and we're going to use some Uncle Steve's Sweet and the Spicier. Now, the sugar in this, the Sweet and the Spicier, is going to complement the sugar that is in our braise. So I'm just going to go over like this. Now these have already been patted down to get all of the moisture off of them. And yes, I will wash my hands. Well, these are just like cute little chicken legs. Can't believe I just used the word cute. Sorry, Chris, if you're watching, I know. You just flip them over. Actually, they're chicken wings, and I'm sorry. And just go back over them. Give them a nice generous dusting. Perfect. Nice. We're going to put that over it. And then we're going to put the lid back on and let it come up to about 400 degrees. We hit that magical 400 degrees. We all know what the indirect heat's like. Let's put these down. Now because these are so much smaller than say a chicken leg, they're gonna cook a heck of a lot faster, a heck of a lot faster, whatever that is. I do wanna give these things a good cook. Make sure you do that. And we're gonna put the lid back on and check them out here in about 10 minutes or so. You know what time it is, guys. It's your Zoe moment. Zoe, what are you doing? Zoe, Zoe. Oh, it's my granddaughter. She come over to visit Zoe. Zoe. Yeah, guys, she's too good for us. There's my granddaughter. Bye, Zoe. It's been 10 minutes and we're, we're hovering around 400 degrees. Just kind of want to give you a look at that. That looks really good. So I just kind of flip it. A little warm. Just 
because we got the charcoal on both sides, man, you know these things are gonna be just rocking good. It'd be perfect with a beer. Be perfect for hanging out with your buddies, you know, because football season starts and be perfect for just hanging out with your buddies. All right, guys, we're gonna cover this, give it another 10 minutes, and then it's time to put our braise on. Spend another 10 minutes, here's our braise. I did add some extra pineapple into it because I just wanted that extra pineapple flavor in it. But at the end of the day, I just want to go over each chicken wing. Although I think that these might be a couple legs, but I'm okay with that. Kind of go over every one of them like this. Give them a nice generous coating because I did try this out. Man, it's got tons of flavor. What do you think, Zach? Tons of flavor or what? Oh, uh, those things are looking good. Heck yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, I want to introduce you to the new camera guy, Zach the camera guy. I'll be giving him some junk as we go along. And uh, I'll, I'll be feeding him right now in food. Guys, these wings are looking money. Zach's a little shy. Glad he finally spoke up for himself. That glaze really came together, dude. Thanks, man. Guys, we're gonna give this another five minutes to kind of let that glaze do its thing. And then it is time to test these things. We're working on about six minutes into this after we put the glaze on. These things are looking awesome. I can hardly wait to try them out. You know, these are gonna be perfect for that game day, man. I've done these before, they're the bomb. Peeps are going to be really impressed. We do have our glaze right here also that we can use. It's like our dipping sauce. It's got extra pineapple in it for flavor. I think we're ready to try these things out. You know what time it is. It's time to try these. Take a wing. Tons of flavor, guys. Tons. I really get the soy, but I get the pineapple and a little bit of mango in there. And the Uncle Steve's shake, sweet and spicier. Mm. Guys, I'm not sure I'm going to share this with cameraman Zach. Mm. Better. No way, man. Mm. He's got flavors written all over him. And they're messy like the wings should be. All right, guys. You know how we made it. The recipe's down below. Give it a shot, guys. Let's try it with a beer real quick. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. These wings are money. I'm not kidding. Zach's nodding his head. All right, guys. Please remember to like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. Comment, share, all that good stuff. Remember to check out my buddy Rick. His link was somewhere, but it's also down below. Remember, the dude abides this time with chicken wings that you can share with your buddies. We'll talk to you later, guys. I'm going back to eating, and I might share with Jack. <laughs>